What's up guys, I'm Caddy here, now today my guys, a brand new UU Live, but what we're going to be doing is having another go with this UU team, because I absolutely adore using this team, it's, it has its flaws, like it does have limited switchings to certain things, but it's so much fun to use. Now this team has just got disgusting bulk, absolutely disgusting bulk, and, ugh, I don't like it, okay, what we do see though, is a lack of hazards removal, which is really, really nice. And, oh no, I guess he doesn't know he's got the Blastoise, ignore me. <laughs> but uh, a really evil Fire, Water, Grass Claw plus Hydreigon. So what's he going to lead with here? I wouldn't be surprised if he led with this. Um, what would be our lead here? What would be our lead? I have a feeling it's our, uh, it's our Agron, because we need to get rocks up here. Uh, he's going to probably lead with his own one to get his own rocks up. So maybe that's not the best lead. Actually, Melotic looks to be the best middle ground. Okay, so we go into Melotic as he leads off with his Agron. I think I'm just going to go for Scald here. Because if he can snag a burn on this guy, he does lack the, um, any form of sort of aromatherapy or anything like that. So that's going to be really nice. We're physically defensive. So if he's banded or something like that, we might be able to take two. No, he's the Mega Set. Okay. Looks to be more of a tanking set. Does get his rocks up now. What we're going to do is, I think we're going to pull a double, because I think he's going to go into his own Milotic, or even the Gorgeist. And we're going to pull a double, I know it's turn two, and that's a little bit risky, but I think getting a switch out into uh, Zapdos to get the initiative is a really nice thing to have. As he does make a, he does go out into this. Okay, that's great. What we can do now is, uh, I'm just going to go for the default, because we need to get rid of these rocks. He does decide to stay in, and he goes for Trick. We get Choice Scarf, as he gets Leftovers. What we're going to do now, that, that causes us some issues, because that's our, a really nice Spadef wall that we've just lost. Um, he, I think what we're going to do, I'm going to go for Heat Wave here, see how much that does. That's a good amount of damage, that's enough. And we get the burn, okay, that's huge, right. What he's going to do now is either go into his Arcanine or his Hydreigon now. So what we're going to do, what's our best switch? What is our best switch here? Probably the Milotic. Okay, he goes into his Milotic, uh, his own Milotic. That's absolutely fine. I think what we're going to do is... Oh, Roserade is a fantastic switch here. I think we're going to go out into Roserade. So we can take a Scald. It's a fairly reliable school switching. Um, I particularly don't particularly want to get burnt, but uh, being able to get some initiative on that would be really, really nice. As he goes for Toxic, that's uh, that's that's 100% fantastic. What we can do is, I'm going to go for Sludge Bomb. He does decide to stay in, fair enough. As he goes for the school, doesn't snag the burn. Okay, I'm going to fire off a Giga Drain here, because he doesn't really have much that can switch in. If he goes into Agron... Uh, we can have a look, we can work out whether HP Fire is worth it. I have a feeling it is worth it, because that's his rocker. And if we can get stop rocks coming up on our side of the field, that would be absolutely fantastic. Goes out into Pumpkin Hill, as a Giga Drain is going to be able to take that out. That's absolutely great, and we're now back up to a good amount of HP. So this this Rose Raid is definitely going to be putting in work. Once we got rid of the Arcanine, actually, and possibly the Hydrain, goes into Blastoise. I mean, I'm going to fire off a Giga Drain. You could be AV, but... To get, an, to get rid of your spinner is going to be huge. Miracle, oh, Miracle, that is really cool, actually. Um, what we're going to do is, I think this is a chance for Hydreigon to come in. And what we're going to do is, um, is Dark Pulse going to kill? I think we've got to fire for Draco. Goes into Milotic. I think a Draco, then a Dark Pulse. Yep, Dark Pulse is going to take you out from there. So that's, that's brilliant. Um... Being able to get that amount of damage off on him um, is really going to make a difference. I wasn't sure whether Dark Pulse would kill the Blastoise or not, and I really didn't want to risk it. Um, losing Roserade's a shame, but if we can get rid of this Milotic and the Blastoise is weakened, that's just, you know that amount of it should be okay. I think we wait. We got ways around it. Goes out into his own um, what's we call it. What we can do here is I think I think Zapdos is our best bet because now. We can almost Thunderbolt freely, but uh, no, I'm going to save that. Um, I think our best bet now 
is probably the Agron, because actually no, because we need we need something that he can't U turn out into this to get a recovery up. Um I think it's gonna have to be Zapdos. And hopefully he doesn't go for the Draco. Goes into my Lotic. Okay, that's great. Because what we can do now is we can fire off a T-Bolt. His only real switch in is the Hydreigon, but we don't want the Melotic to heal up, and that's what he really wants us wants to try and do. Um okay. What we're going to do now is, I think, he might just go for a Dark Pulse here. Either way, I think our Milotic's the best switch here. Because um, we can't afford that Milotic to heal up at all. Goes for Roost, that's absolutely fine. I'm just going to go for, what? how much HP is that Milotic at? I'm going to go for Scald here. I know it's probably not the best move against the Hydreigon. But I think we need to get the most amount of damage off to stop that Milotic from switching in and healing up. Because being able to stop that will be absolutely huge. We've got a chance to burn. I don't think we're going to do 20%. But even then, just that chance to burn. We got... Yeah, yeah. We just can't afford that guy to heal up anymore. Um, Because it could... It actually could possibly be Spadef. Considering how well it took that Draco, I'm leaning to it being more sp on the Spadef side. <clears throat> okay, so he gets the flinch. That's not nice at all. Um, we're going to have to recover here, unfortunately. Oh, getting that flinch is going to be such a pain. Please don't flinch us again. Right. Okay. Now he's upset me. Um, thing is, we need this. We need this so badly. Um... I think we're going to have to sack Zapdos. Oh my goodness, the two flinches make so, such a huge difference. Okay, right. What we can do now is we're going to go into Heracross. We still don't know what set the Arcanine is. Um, and we're just going to fire off a close combat. We need to see what this Arcanine set is. It is the Intimidate set. That's really unfortunate. Um, yeah. Oh, that's Spadef. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't uh, KO that. But... That's really good to know uh, what sort of level we're looking at. I'm going to go into Hydreigon because he's either going to go for a Will-O-Wisp here, which we can take. Or, we, okay, he goes for the Morning Sun. That's absolutely fine. We are pretty much free to fire off. Do we fire off a Dark Pulse or Draco? Uh, we're going to go for Dark Pulse here. Uh, somewhere my phone is going off. I do apologize. Um, I think Dark Pulse is our best bet. And we don't take that out, unfortunately. But next turn we will be able to... Did I say something about AV? Uh, but that was that's good to know. So yeah, definitely going for the Dark Pulse would not have been the play. Uh, we're going to fire off another Dark Pulse. He has the Aqua Jet. This is a really weird Blastoise set. Okay. Question is, is he going to risk the Speed Tie with the Hydreigon? Goes into this. Okay. What I think we're going to do, I think we're going to go into our own Agron. Because we know that Milotic can come into this. So even if our own Agron goes down, goes into goes for Stealth Rocks, that's absolutely fine. We're going to Mega Evolve here. And I see no harm in going for our own Rocks. Because our Rocks really damage him. Goes for an EQ, that's absolutely fine. We're going to go and fire off our own EQ here. Battle of the EQs. Um, <laughs> that's probably our best bet. To get to get rocks up as well is just really huge. Especially with the Arcanine. Uh, because now that guy can't switch into um, Heracross. And all we need to do is just get this guy to a point where Heracross can sweep. And I think we have just done that. So um, that's absolutely great. He does end up taking us out. So what we do here, this is the exciting part. We go into Heracross. We fire off CC and I think we win. And this is why I really like Heracross on this team. Because this team's got so much bulk that it wears down the opponent to a point where then you can just come in and clean up with Heracross. Um, yeah, even if he switched in the Arcanine, with Rocks now being up, we took care of the Arcanine. Um, we can take an E-Speed from this range, even at minus one, I'm pretty sure. Um, I might even damage calc that. I think I'm going to damage calc that, actually. Um, let's have a look. Damage calc. Um, Heracross, 
Uh, choice Scarfed against an Arcanine. Oh, I don't want to max screen it. Uh, Arcanine. So close combat should be doing that. So is this offensive Arcanine? If we get rid of that. That looks to be offensive Arcanine, actually. Um, extreme speed if he's... What? Has he shown an item? He hasn't shown an item. Is this banded? So if he... Let, let's, let's play worst case scenario. He's adamant and he's choice banned. Our defense is minus one. No, he's gone for morning sun, so he's not choice banded. So even if he's 252 adamant, he does 53 to 63 if we're at minus one. So I think we go for CC. Yeah, we can take that. That's absolutely great. He's life orb. Okay, so that's great. And I think we clean up from here. It was the fact that I saw the morning sun made me think he, yeah, he wasn't choice banded. Okay. Goes down to Hydreigon. We know this is Life Orb. Um, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I lost some HP. Yeah. So we just go for close combat. Take that out. And I think we sweep from here. Whew. Okay. That was a great first match, I must admit. Um, and he ends up forfeiting. Okay. That's great. We're going to look for another battle. See what we can find. Okay. This is an, a very, very interesting team. Looks to be almost on the verge of a rain team. Um, I anticipate either the Cloister leading or the Mamo leading. We have got Melotic for the Cloister, so that's absolutely fine. Um, I almost don't see an issue leading off with the Agron. Yeah, I don't see an issue leading off with Agron here. Leads off with Mamoswine. We're just going to Mega Evolve, and I think we just go for the Heavy Slam. Because Mamoswine's seriously scary, and I think just trying to get rid of that guy is going to be huge. Let's Mega Up go for the Heavy Slam. He does go for his EQ. 54% is not nice. Heavy Slam does a lot less than I anticipated. Okay. Um, well, what we can do is... I'm just going to go out into... Hydreigon. As he goes down to Fortress. Okay. I'm going to fire off a Dark Pulse. Because I don't want... I, it, we get a chance to flinch there. We might be able to even two it KO because Hydreigon is seriously scary. I did not anticipate that doing so little to the... Um, I guess the Mamoswine is very heavy. Ah, he does get his rocks up. That's unfortunate. But I do not see a switch into Dark Pulse. Um, especially with that Jellicent being around. I think that's probably our best bet. Um, Hydreigon's going to put in work here. Is what I'm seeing. Um... We do need to try and defog these hazards away when we get a chance. The is going to be a tiny bit scary. But we'll have to just see. Yeah, we do take the fortress out. Okay, so we need to get our rocks up now. Because that's going to break the sturdy on... Oh, sorry, sorry the sta sash on the cloister. Uh, which will be really, really nice. Oh, I hope he doesn't go into Cloister now. He goes into Heliolisk. Okay. Well, what we can do now is, I think... Is Agron our safe middle? We kind of want rocks up, though. This is the problem with the team, is it struggles a lot with electric types. Um, what's he going to go for? I think Agron's our safe middle. But then to get rocks up would be huge. I just need to know what type of type of Heliolisk this is. I don't want to sack. See, we need Zapdos because we need to get rid of rocks. Um, I think Agron's our only real switch here. Okay, that's great. What we can do now is um, try and set up our rocks. If he goes for Volt Switch, we might be able to live a Volt Switch. Actually, maybe not. Considering how much that HP, Him Power Fire did. Not Him Power, sorry. The Him Power actually did. Um, he could be Specs. Actually, that... that Yeah, if that was a resisted Hidden Power. And I'm Spadef. I think that guy's Specs. I think he's Choice Locked. 
My gut feeling says 11.7 is way too much for Heliolisk. Um, Agron, Mega Agron, OU Tank against um, Heliolisk. Yeah, he's choice locked. Okay. Is he specs though, or... Him power bug, say. Okay, he's specs. He's definitely specs. Um, so what I think we need to do here is we've got our rocks up, but then obviously we might have we're gonna have to set our rocks up at later at a later point if we can. Um, I'm tempted to switch Hydreigon here because that means it's another you can't switch into us um, sort of situation. Or is Rosary the better switch? Which one's more valuable? I think Rose Raid's less valuable because the Hydreigon still outspeeds the Mamo, and there's a chance we can live that. So I think Tyrell is probably our best bet here. Goes for Scald. We can take that. That's absolutely fine. So say we're going to go for a Giga Drain. He knows we're going to probably go for a Giga Drain. I think Sludge Bomb's our best bet because we might even be able to take care of that. We can do a good amount of damage to anything that switches in. Um... Yeah, the, our offensive core is definitely going to put him work against his team. It's just making sure we bring it in safely. Because um, he has a lot of things that can punish us. That Mama Swine obviously does definitely break our offensive core. Um, but we still got Milotix around. We still got Agron around to set up rocks later on if we want to try and get rid of our own rocks. So I, I think we've got ways around this. We can definitely pull this off for a win. It just depends what he's going to go into now. he's almost, he's got to switch here. If he doesn't switch, then we Giga Drain next turn, I think. Um, and if he goes into his own Roserade, I think we HP Fire the next turn. Because I think Sludge Bomb does over 50% to the Roserade. So maybe we just Sludge Bomb again. We'll see how much damage it does um, from there. All I know is he's running out of time now. <laughs> but yeah, I do really like this team. It has so much offensive pressure. It's just, a, it, it's basically bulky offensive with um, a sweeper, uh, you know, in terms of her in the form of Heracross. The only really passive thing is the Melotic. Um, the rest of them do hit relatively hard, and I really do like that about this team. Goes for Protect. Okay, right. I'm going to call his bluff. I'm going to go for Giga Drain this turn. Got him. Okay. What's he going to go through this turn? Okay, goes for Scald. Doesn't get the burn. Okay. What we're going to do now... Yeah, he does go for his own Protect, because he's going to try and heal back up. And what we do is we fire off another Giga Drain this turn. I know it's predictable, but... Ah, he got us, he got us, he got us. Okay. I'm going I'm to fire off a HP Fire here. I think that's probably our best bet, because we can Oko this. I'm pretty sure. Because it's going to be super effective. He, outs he be wins the speed tie, unfortunately. Uh, but we do take him straight out, so that looks to be more along the lines of Spadef, or at least he's not Technician. Um, we do lose our Rose Rod 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 in the process, but we've sufficiently weakened Jellicent. Goes out into Cloyster. We are, we are Giga Draining you. There's no way we're switching out. Okay. Right. What we can do now, though, is... <clears throat> Hmm, do we go into Zapdos? Because we know we can take an Ice Shard relatively well. Just to get a T-Bolt off to take this out would be huge. Um, Heracross, you're nearly there in terms of sweeping power. We just need to lock you into maybe Knock Off, and I think you might be able to sweep. Uh, but we need to just weaken this Cloyster. So... Because the thing is, I don't want to switch into Melotic, because it's just another free switch into Jellicent. So I think Zapdos, as an offensive switch, is uh, offensive player is our only real play. And we're going to go for T-Bolt. See what he decides to do. Because we still got the Hydreigon. Hydreigon bro can break Jellison. That's the good thing. Considering how much the Giga Drain did, I'm pretty sure a Dark Pulse, even after a few Protects, is still going to take this, that guy out. Um, 
But we'll just see what this cloister is going to do. Because I'm, I'm, I'm very, very confident we can live in Ice Shard. And he just sacks it. That's absolutely great. Okay. He may have predicted us to maybe go for Defog or something like that. But having rocks up is definitely not worth it. Um, goes into Mamoswine. Well, he's got to go for an ice move here. Right. Do we just sack off Agron here? I think we sack off Agron. If he goes to EQ now, we know he's banded. Or if, uh, sorry, if he goes to Ice School Crash here, we know he's probably banded. <clears throat> I'm gonna fire off an EQ. I have a feeling this is a banded Mammoth Swine, and we might have Scarf or Spectilisk, or is this Scarf Mammoth Swine? Um, well, we can calc it. Uh, Mammoth Swine. Icicle Crash if he's Choice Banded. It did 21%. Um, that's, uh, that doesn't make much sense. Um, let's just see. Icicle Crash Crit. Okay, he's Banded. So that's great. That's really good news. Because that means... Hydreigon outspeeds, and we fire off a Dark Pulse. Yeah, the, the calcs can't lie. That was definitely a banded icicle crash. I'm making myself really scared now that I made the wrong move. But I think that it's, def it's got to be banded. The calcs say it's banded. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right. Because so I don't know if we Oko the Heliolisk. We might have to rock. Like, Triforce just hits so hard. That's great. Now we win, basically. Because we can clean up with um, Heracross. Mamoswine, he's got to go for Ice, ice, uh, ice Shard here. Um, do we still need the, the Triforce? I'm saying probably not. Because it means it's a free switch into Heracross. We close combat and we win. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to go for a Dark Pulse here. Go to Ice, Ice Shard, that's great. I'm just going to double check. I'm 100% Heracross can never hit. But it's always best just to check. Um, Ice Shard does 41 to 48. So we can live one of those. Um, that's absolutely great. And I think we clean up with her, um, Heracross here. So we're going to go for a CC. And see what he decides to do. Because he can switch out. And, uh, uh, you know, t uh, take advantage of the defense drops. But then I think we still win. I think we, we've got it in the bag here. Oh, oh! This, this, these battles have been fantastic, I must admit. And this this team works really, really well. As I said, it does like, lack switch-ins to some things. But um, I don't... I, I, yeah, I'd appreciate any suggestions of how to improve this team, actually. Because at the minute, I really, really like it. Like, the offensive core just rips apart people's def uh, defensive cores and just doesn't... means they can't do any sort of fancy switching and stuff like that. But, um, and then Heracross to clean up just pairs so well with those, those two. Um, but we'll see what he decides to do here. So he's in a predicament. He's probably calking at the minute. Uh, we can definitely live it. Um, and then I'm not going to risk it him go. Actually, I guess we can. But I'm going to play it safe and then I'll go into my low tick the next time. Okay, he does go for the Ice Shard. Close combat, takes this guy out. That's absolutely great. The only way he could win... Is possibly if this is Scarf Helios, but he, then we calc'd it, and I'm pretty sure that's Choice Specs. And Milotic doesn't take a hit. Yeah, we take this out. That's absolutely great. Okay, how are we doing time-wise? What we're going to do, I think we're going to go for one more. Uh, because that's the end of that one. Let's go for another one and see what we can find. But yeah, I don't think I've got a loss on this team. Right, yeah, like I had losses when I was building it. And refining it, but um, I think on the live, I, I don't remember getting. Did we won, we've won both of these, haven't we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's good to know. But yeah, Zapdos. I don't know how I feel about Zapdos being in UU. It is really bulky, and especially I, I I'm a big fan of Spadef in this tier. Um, the Spadef just makes it so hard to kill. 
especially when there's so many scary things like Hydreigon, it can live Dracos, it can live Dark Pulses, you can roost up on that. Right. This is a pretty spooky team. Pretty spooky. Okay. Um, there's a good chance the Aerodactyl might be leading. Um, or even uh, this thing. What's our best lead here? Probably Mega Aerodactyl. Um... Right, what's he going to lead? All I can see is he's got no Draco switchins. No Draco switchins at all. Um, we've got to watch out for the Heracross. Um, it's between these two to lead. I'm feeling the Hydreigon lead here. Drop a Draco on something. Leads off a Chestnut. That's fantastic. We can drop a Draco. I'm pretty sure Chestnut can't live a Draco. He's going to be physically defensive. Um, we may have to take a Hammer Arm. I don't know if that was the right play to make. He does live a Draco, blimey. Okay. He goes for Leech Seed. That's fine. Because what we can do now is we can go into... We can make a, a, a safe switch into our Rose Raid. And um, we can't go for Sludge Bomb. We're going to have to go for HP Fire. Which is a shame. But he may go for Spiky Shield here. In case we decide to U-turn. Goes for Wood Hammer. We can take that like a champ. Um, I see no harm in going for HP Fire. I mean, he's probably going to switch, but to have the chestnut that amount of HP... No, we kill the chestnut. That's great. That's absolutely brilliant. Okay. So we've got rid of his physical wall already. Um, they could be specially defensive. Considering how well it's at the Draco, I'm almost leaning towards specially defensive and then physically defensive Swampert, but I really don't like facing chestnuts, so to be able to get rid of that is really, really nice. Um, goes into Heracross. Oh, is this Mega Heracross, actually? I think Zapdos might be our best lead here. We need to find out what this guy is going to do. He misses a Mega Horn. I don't think that would have done much damage. So um, I think that's absolutely fine. What we're going to do is... He's, he's de they're definitely choice. He's definitely choiced. Um, is Rotom's probably going to come out here? Oh, it's such a risky play. No, I can't do that. I'm so tempted to switch into Hydreigon here. Assuming this is choice. Hmm. Because he's e he's going to switch into the Rotom. Or the Swampert. Right, yeah. Let's pull a double. Goes into Swampert. Okay. I got you. What we're going to do is... I don't see a really viable switch into... Let's say we could drop another Draco. Let's drop a Draco. Okay, that's great. And he's within Dark Pulse range now. Um, we can be, we'll can we be able to take him out. Goes for Toxic. That's unfortunate, but not too bad. Um, we're going to go for Dark Pulse. I know he can switch, but he's now at a point with a Swampert where he's... Almost anything on my team can kill him. Uh, and that's going to be really nice. And this is going to stop him from setting up rocks as well. Um, Triforce just nuking so many different Pokemon. It's absolutely fantastic. Um... What's he going to do? Oh, he lives. Oh, my goodness. That's really... Um... Okay, he flinches. That's great. Um, I know we're racking up toxic damage here, but uh, we do have Roost on this. Um, so I'm not too worried. And to, to be honest, he'll have done more than enough work for the rest of the team just to patch things up. Um, Ments, I'm not too scared of because we still got our Agron, and Agron can, should be able to roll that out. Pretty well. Um, and we'll see from there. He might have Pursuit on the... Okay, he goes into Rotom. Um, Skyfall's our only real switch in here. See what he decides to do. He might go for the Volt Switch. He probably is going to go for Volt Switch. He does go for the Volt Switch. Okay, I'm going to calc that. Because that looks like that looks like Specs Rotom. And being able to know the, spec the speed of the Rotom is going to be huge. Um... Rotom Heat. Uh, choice Specs against um, Zapdos. Specially Defensive. Volt Switch does 31 to 37. Okay, so that's Specs. That's really, really Specs. We're going to go to Milotic here because we can take any hit from this Aerodactyl. I'm pretty sure, yep. Yeah, Stone Edge is absolutely fine. 
And I see no harm in firing off a Scald. No harm at all in that. Um, we've just got to watch out for that Heracross. Because I, I think that's going to be um, probably Scarfed, to be honest. Uh, considering the Rotom isn't Scarfed. And uh, that can definitely... Has the potential to sweep if we're not careful. Tries to go for another Stone Edge. Unfortunately, he misses. And we do snag the Burn. And that's what we're after. Because now... Uh, we've essentially crippled that Mega Aerodactyl. We can roost up here. I know it's a very passive play, but uh, and the Rotom can then come in, but I think he's just going to sack this guy off, and we want to be at as much health as possible in case we have in case he switches in the Rotom. Um, I think at this point, how much Stone Edge did Stone Edge do? 19%. I think it's best bet. Yeah, just go for Scald because um, just in case he wants to go for an offensive switch and go for Rotom, predicting us to recover up. Goes out into Mence. Well, I'm firing off an Ice Beam. Yeah, you can do what you want. You can just scratch the surface of me. I'm just going to fire off Ice Beams now. Uh, and that means I can fire off a Scald. That's really, really nice. If he has Roost, we can punish him the next turn. So I've not got any problems at all with firing off a Scald. And we get the Rotom with the Scald. That's great. Oh, the amount of damage there. That's huge. Okay. My low tick is really putting in work. Um, and we're at a good amount of HP. So I have no qualms of going out into Skyfall here. Taking a Volt Switch, he does go for the Hidden Power, that's great. And we know he specs, so uh, every, everything is falling into place now. What we can do now is, I'm going to go for a T-Bolt, as he may end up going out into Heracross. I've not really got a problem with that. We could have healed up with Skyfall, but to get some damage off on the Heracross is going to be really useful. Right. I see no harm in going into Milotic, because he's got to go for Stone Edge here. And that means another free school switch in. Goes for knockoff. That's e that's that's okay, um, because Scald. We can go for Scald. He might be guts. Most likely Moxie if he's the Scarf Cross set. He's not Scarf Cross. Okay, right. He's a wall breaking cross, um, and he's very cross. <laughs> anyway, um, I think we just sweep anyway uh, with our own Heracross, because he's got to go for close combat. Okay. Um, did I not see leftovers before? No, because we just scored him. No. Was I being dumb? Was I just talking rubbish? I probably was talking rubbish. Yeah, we scored him. No, what, what, what do we hit him with? No, we did score him twice. Well, maybe I, I don't know. Maybe I was just being dumb. Maybe you guys are probably screaming at me in the comments. Um... 305 speed, 295 speed. Well, we know Rose Raid out speeds. So we can fire off a very, very safe... Um, HP Fire will kill off the Rotom from there. So I think we then uh, clean up with... Not necessarily with Rose Raid, but... Um, we can clean up with our... Um, Heracross. Goes into Rotom. I'm just going to fire off a Sludge Bomb. Yeah, he's Specs. He was definitely Specs. Oh... Some tense moments there. Right. Out into Ments. We just go for Sludge Bomb. There's no... He's got to set up, basically, to win. Uh, we have a full health, health map. Agron was sturdy. So, uh, that's absolutely fine. We can just go into our Heracross. And... Click... Knock off? Yeah. Was he Scarfed? Uh, okay. Okay. Well, we can live that. To be honest, as I said, we still had um, Agron with... Um, what's we call it? with Sturdy as its normal ability, so we, we'd be able to take a hit from that regardless of how many times it's set up. So anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this live. I had a lot of fun with this team. This team's been absolutely fantastic. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit the like button down below. I would really, really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys at the next one. McCaddy out.